What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So excited to get here back on the ocean. On my friend Kevin's boat. Morning. So came a little south from the Bay Area. We're in Monterey Bay today. Weather's been so bad in my area. I can't get out there. So excited, excited to get on the ocean today. We just got out of the marina. We're going for halibut today and we see a ton of boats. So figured we'll probably just stop here and see what's going on. So because we're in the ocean, we can use multiple rods for these halibut. We've got different uh, baits. We have squid, herring. We've got some artificial uh, hoochies that imitate squid. So we'll be trying some different things. We're looking for some bigger ones. I love being in the ocean for the halibut because you get the chance at some nice big ones a little more often than the bay. The bay's had a lot of good sized ones, but they're usually like the 25 inch or so. Showing up to the spot right now. Let's see if we can get some big ones. There's a ton of boats out here. So we got a three-way swivel down to a two pound weight using this flasher down to the hoochie. Let's see how it looks. I'm trying to determine if I should shorten that leader back there. It'll give it a little more action. Let's just start with that. We want to bounce the bottom. There we go. There we go. I think these boats are all, they're all squidding, Kevin. Huh? These boats are all squidding. Really? Yeah. They're all jigging. Look at them. They're all out back there jigging. We can move. Is there a halibut here is the question. I don't know. We can find other, uh, did we go a teeny bit faster or no? Yeah, faster? Teeny bit? Uh, Maybe not a lot. I don't know. I guess it's no, fine. Right okay, so I'm going to drop this other one back. Same thing, basically. It's just a little bit smaller flasher. I mean, there should be halibut in theory around if there's all this bait. But look at that school down there. Is that, I mean, is that squid? That'd be thick, I huh? all these are squid. Yeah, me too. And those other things are like mackerel or something. But see, these guys in front of us are halibut fishing. Huh? These guys are halibut fishing. Yeah, absolutely. All right, on this one, we're just throwing a piece of squid on. What's that? I'm talking to my YouTube followers. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and drop this one down right now. It's just a straight piece of squid, that's it. Looks kind of cool. The snagger fish. Can you stop it? No. And look at this. Holy shit, that thing's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I was trying to get the hook out of the back, but it's not. The steel came up and I freaking dropped the box. That's like. That guy is big, huh? He is a big one. I got one here, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I got one. What does it feel like, Hallie? Oh, Did you slow down like, a little bit? Yeah, it's like... No, I didn't slow down, we can't. Oh, yeah. Not a gaffer though. It's, no. it's a little keeper probably though. Hey, whatever, man. We should probably start with one, right? Huh? Start with one to keep or what? <laughs> it's up to you, man. <laughs> Let's see, lift it up more. Oh. 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 
That saw good though. Shit, he took my flasher and That's everything. what I mean, yeah, they're not broke. Sorry. Oh, that was me, dude. I know that dude uses it. There you go. You on there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I really believe in a little bit of bait, man, you know? No, this one has no bait. This is what I just showed you. Oh, that one has no bait. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh. Fish. I don't know what's going on. Slow down, slow down. Too bad. Don't go so fast. Slow down? Yeah. Alright. Well, great start getting this big one. I'll have to get a good measure on it. I don't know if I'll be able to here. So that's 30. It's like 36 inches. So good start. We've been out here for probably about an hour now. It took us about a half hour to get a hang of things. Um, but then we got you know, the one we lost with Kevin there, and then now this really nice big one. So I feel like we're on the fish. Hopefully we can get some more here pretty quickly, big ones. If you guys are curious on the fishing gear I'm using, the reel is the Akuma Komodo. Uh, I'm using the KDS 471, and the one up front is the uh, 463. Uh, the rods we're using, who's is that a fish? And then the rods, the uh, Kuma Monterey. That's the model. And then on the bow, the rods, the PCH Custom. That one's a little bit stiffer. Probably a little better if you're using the heavier weights. Uh, but the Monterey is certainly working well too. Smaller because the last one was so big. Well, yeah, exactly. That's a nice fish. Like yeah. There's the, yeah, it's yeah. a fish. It has to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one's coming up pretty easy. It's either, could be some weeds or who knows. Yeah, it's a, the hell is it? Yeah. There you go. Not bad. <laughs> Let's measure the small one. It's actually not that small though. Just looks small with the other one. Close to 27 inches probably. Yep. Good fish. Alright, well, so it feels good to have the two fish on. Nice big old, about 36 incher, and the other one's about 27 inches, so definitely some good size. We we're on some fish, it feels like, but it's getting really hard to fish. I don't know, I guess something to do with the tide, but a bunch of just different, you know, grass and kelp, and it's really hard. We just keep getting stuff on our line. So now we're contemplating do we want to leave here? We're the only boat. That's what we're debating right now. But. We'll give it a few more minutes here, see if we keep picking up the kelp, then we'll have to leave. Okay. The big one, Kev. <laughs> All right, well, we just brought up the lines. We are gonna move. It's just not, not fishing productively at this point. I don't know what happened, because the current's pretty small, small tide today. But yeah, all the kelp just moved into our fishing spot. 
got a monster. Oh, look at that. Dad. It came off. Yeah. Uh. Really nice and calm in here. We were fishing 60 feet before. It's 45 now. I'm going to try and switch from, uh, I was using a two pound ball and switch to a one pound. I wish I had like a one and a half pound. Um, but we'll see if the one pound works. It might be too light. Maybe not. We'll see. Taking off the uh, one pound weight. Experiment didn't go too good. It's a little too deep for it. it just scopes out really far. Um, harder to stay on the bottom. So we're gonna go underwater camera now. Um, put on a herring. Can't use the uh, Dodger for like a hoochie because all that motion with the camera, I think we'll just get motion sickness trying to watch it. So. Interested to see what's down there. Hopefully there's some visibility. Be cool to see a halibut. Grab our bait. First thing we can tell is the water clarity isn't very good. That doesn't stop us from seeing a couple halibut. So we're bouncing the weight on the bottom. And you can see right here we go over one. Looks like a nice size. Unfortunately it doesn't follow our bait though. A little later you can see here a different halibut. It's stalking our bait from behind. I'm pretty sure it takes a bite. I remember seeing the rod get hit once. And I think this is probably that time it happens. So from here on out, the action really picks up. We get lots of smalls, way too many to show most of them on camera. Encouraging for the future after the beating they took this year. This was pretty fun right here. It was our first of two doubles we had on the day. Yeah, I got one on here. Oh yeah. It's a cool little one, though. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> Doubled up, teeny one. Kevin's got one up front. Ah, Kevin's is a little better. Yeah, leave it right there. I'll net it or what? All right, yeah, he's he's borderline, isn't he? I don't know. Just short. Look at it. Twenty-one and a half. All right, Kevin just was dropping up front and got whacked. Didn't even hit the bottom. It was almost there. Good one, huh? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, he hit it hard. Yeah, he's pretty heavy. We'll try and get it so I can just gaff it right here, I guess. Okay, yeah. So we uh, lowered the leader on this bow rod and now it's just getting whacked. It's getting heavier and heavier. And we actually the squid's off of it now. I, I'm gonna switch, well, I'm gonna rig mine up just like this, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he's heavy. Oh. You have this rod. Maybe there's a, there's a fish too. Oh yeah, it's big. Go, just keep going slow. I'm getting close to it, so if you can just keep, yeah, yeah, just bring the rod closer like you are. Just keep reeling. It's big. Yeah, he's not coming, dude. This thing's like... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's another good one, huh? Yeah. Whew. it. All right. Nice, huh? Yeah, man. Huh? Two real nice ones. Close, right? Not close. Yeah, 28 yeah. and a half, 29. Yeah, almost 29. Pull it through, you know? This one's bigger than a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you got one. Oh, shit. Good, man. Oh, it's 
jamming. Holy crap. Well, I was waiting for this to happen at some point this year. Catch a salmon on accident. This thing is beastie. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. Nice. That is nice. Oh, man. Surprised he's not fighting more, huh? I know. He was fighting. No, yeah, no. He's kind of lazy, isn't he? He might run. There, he's out. He's out. Okay. Wow. It's nice, huh? Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. And that's the, the best way we could have released that fish there. Didn't have to touch it. I just held the line. He yanked a few times and came loose. That feels like it has more weight to it. Is that good? Fish, right? Yeah, big one. everything else in just a couple This feels like a really good one. Feels really heavy. Awesome. Biggest one for the last one. Heck of a bend. Here he comes. I don't see him yet. Uh, there he is. Yep. Snag. I almost said that. It almost fell. Yeah. Wow. They feel heavier when they come in and when they're snagged like that, huh? Kevin just made a great point. I mean, we're we're on fire right now. We're catching a ton of fish. And that's all on these, no bait, this rig right here. And uh, I gotta give a shout out to another YouTuber, High Tide. We don't know each other, but came across his videos. Fish is more of the central coast and he uses this rig. Uh, so go ahead and check him out. He has a lot of detailed videos on how to do this rig. And came out here and tried it today and, and it's money it's working real good nice short leader i think is what one of the trick is smaller flash is working a lot better than the bigger one uh, a lot of fish and like kevin said while i'm talking about this is no bait pretty crazy so we have to leave this spot because nothing but shakers for us i mean we got the one keeper that was 28 inches but I mean, it's gotta be like 12 fish now. All shakers, other shakers are gone off. I mean, and this rod, it's just incredible how many fish it's caught in. Almost every time I get one, it's on this rod right here. So, we're gonna move up here. There's some boats, um, maybe a two, 300 yards in front of us. So, maybe they're on some bigger fish up there. We just need one more to head in. Kevin's fighting one up front right now, and I'm watching it on the fish finder. It's almost here. That's pretty good. I see it. We're done. Yeah. Oh man, he's barely hooked. Really? Yeah. Nice, dude. <laughs> Come show them how this fish is hooked. Oh jeez. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Three or four nice fish. One really big one though. Nice. 20 yeah, 26 and a half, 27. Yeah, 26. Well, what an amazing day out here today. Success, huh, Kev? Killed it. We did. So there's the fish. We got one about a yard stick. And then, I don't know, 26, 27, 29 inches. Caught him on the uh, Dodger Hoochie combo. That's what caught him all today. No bait. Worked really well. Both of them. Um, I mean the amazing fish out here today. We caught at least 20 halibut. We got a king salmon. We got a little link on. We got a rock fish. Booming with life out here. So great day of fishing. We got the big halibut like we we're hoping for. So we're going ahead and head in now. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys.